So, coming to the benefits of lamination, uh, let us say safety, the toughness and resilience of laminated glass makes it an excellent uh, safety glazing. In glass skylights and spaces probed uh, glazing installation in curtain walls, there is a possibility that uh, you have a breakage of the glass and if you have a laminated glass, the interlayer will ensure that the glass, broken glass is intact of the interlayer and the uh, there is no, I mean the glass would not be falling and causing any damage. Whereas, if you have a tempered or an annealed or an heat strengthened glass, the broken glass particle might fall and come in, I mean can cause a damage, impact damage to a person who is nearby it. So, uh, lamination glass again it is a big uh, safety, I mean the concern of the safety is eliminated if you have a laminated glass. When vertical and sloped application, the laminated glass can resist the penetration impact, uh, impact as we have seen in the previous videos. If the glass is broken, the fragments will be in contact of PVB, reducing the risk of personal injury or property damage. Now, coming to the security aspect, uh, lamination glass offers great protection pro uh, to the people, uh, to the property over other glass uh, products as we have seen again. Uh, basically, we have a two uh, glass pane and it uh, there is an interlayer in between. The interlayer, uh, it provides resistance to penetration when subjected to uh, forced entry. So, again uh, uh, laminated glass again has a uh, uh, capacity of resisting bullets, heavy objects or uh, even smaller explosions. Now, when coming to prisons, uh, if you have a laminated security glass, I mean as we have seen in the previous video. It can take many blows of uh, van, I mean, uh, vandal. So, as we have seen, it is a vandal uh, resistant. So, if you use a laminated glass in prisons, it will be very difficult for the prisoners to know break through or, or no escape. So, it, it, it can be a replacement in terms of traditional bars that you have since the penetration uh, through a lamination glass is difficult. So, you can see uh, two pictures are uh, uh, demonstrated here. One on the left is basically of a laminated glass which has been subjected to bullet uh, shooting basically. So, you can see that uh, it has not penetrated and you can see the impact of the uh, bullet onto the laminated glass. On the right side of the images, we are just trying to uh, tell you that a lamination glass, it, it can be vandal resistant, it can be bullet resistant, it can also behave as a blast resistant. We will just uh, run through a video of uh, you know, again uh, something on uh, vandal uh, resistant the laminated glass provides. Have a look at this. We will have a video. You can see that uh, even after striking 6 times on a laminated glass using a hammer, it is not possible to penetrate through. This is what uh, shows the vandal uh, resistant performance of a laminated glass. That is how we uh, call it uh, laminated glass as part of a security glass. Now, coming to other benefits of lamination, you have acoustical performance. So, what we mean by acoustical performance is basically lamination glass can uh, uh, give reduction of sound. To, uh, if you have a laminated glass which is nearby hospitals and the hospital is very close to a traffic red light, uh, we can very well imagine that uh, patients inside would be subjected to a lot of noise. So, if you have a laminated glass which is in the, in the facade or even in the room of uh, the, where the patients are there, the sound can be reduced and uh, the patients can, uh, can uh, have a relaxed uh, seating over there. Similar to uh, uh, hotels, if you see people go there to relax. So, if you have a laminated glass uh, which is part of hotels, again you can have uh, 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 comfort in the hotels. And uh, the buildings which are closer to the airports, again are subjected to a lot of noise because of flights uh, uh, taking off and landing. So, again if you have a laminated glass, you can give very well, uh, very good acoustical uh, uh, reduction and uh, thereby having comfort for the people who are staying over there. So, this is what we just uh, talked about the reduction if you have a, no, a normal glass there would not be much of a sound reduction whereas, you have a laminated glass you can very well see the sound gets reduced to a great extent. You can see that uh, the interlayer uh, which is there in lamination that is what gives you the uh, reduction and uh, you can also have a acoustical interlayer which is one form of PVB which gives you greater sound reduction. So, this is also available in case of lamination.
Now coming to other benefits that a laminated glass can provide is basically solar energy performance. The PVB uh, helps reduce the solar energy transmittance and thereby uh, reducing the loads onto the air conditioning and can also help you in uh, you know, uh, reducing your energy consumption that you have in the form of AC air conditioning that you have in the building. The other benefit that uh, a laminated glass gives you is basically ultraviolet screening, the UV control. Um, the UV uh, filtering performance of the plastic interlayer helps protect valuable furnishing, displays or merchandise from fading effects of UV radiation. So, if you have a laminated glass which are used uh, uh, in uh, showrooms or let us say some displays, it can prevent the, uh, the ornament which is kept uh, for display from you know, coming in uh, contact of UV radiation and the effects of fading can be eliminated. Again, if you have a UV absorbing additive, uh, I mean that is there in the laminated uh, film, it can uh, uh, screen out the almost all the damaging rays of UV. So, coming to the last benefit that the lamination uh, glasses offer are uh, basically uh, hurricane or earthquake or let us say blast, uh, bomb blast resistance is what we are talking about. It can provide protection from injury and property damage from man-made or even natural disasters. By keeping uh, lamination glass uh, intact within the frame, the glass helps reduce injuries for, uh, from large shards or flying uh, glass. Coming to the uh, lamination process, this is how an um, uh, laminating architectural laminating line is designed. You have a loading area where you load the raw glass. Then it is subjected to uh, uh, surface preparation where basically we are trying to prepare a glass surface uh, which is would be subjected to lamination uh, in the uh, next process. So, what we do basically is we have a demineralized water, we clean the glass surface using a demineralized water of uh, conductivity less than 20. Uh, the water that we drink uh, basically uh, mineral waters, uh, mineral water and those are of uh, conductivity range somewhere close to 180 or 200 micro siemens. That is because we uh, our body requires mineral whereas, the water that we are using for cleaning the glass surface are demineralized water. There should not be mineral. So, it is the conductivity are of very low nature less than 20 micro siemens is the requirement to have an ideal addition. Uh, coming to uh, once the glasses are washed, it is it goes inside a clean room or it can also be called as an assembly room or a layup room. So, what we have in the clean room is basically we, uh, we condition uh, the uh, PVB or let us say the interlayer which is kept inside the room. Those are conditioned uh, in three forms. One is basically uh, the temperature that you have, the temperature is controlled, it is of the range of 18 to 22 degrees. Then you also have a moisture control wherein you have an uh, humidity basically uh, plays, uh, plays the key role there. You uh, have a control of humidity which is of uh, 20 to 30 percent is what we normally uh, recommend. Uh, that will ensure that the PVB is not subjected to high level of moisture. And third is the uh, dust control that we have. So, the three controls we talked about were uh, the uh, temperature, the humidity and the uh, dust. So, what happens is inside clean room, uh, we assemble the uh, sandwich. When I say a sandwich, I mean two layers of glass and the interlayer which could be PVB, Sentry, uh, glass or EVA, it should be part of uh, the sandwich and which would be the uh, in between of the two glasses. Once you make a sandwich, you send the, uh, the sandwich for further processing which is basically uh, pre-lamination which, which, which we hear called as de-airing in the architectural business and what we are trying to do is basically uh, we are trying to remove the air. In between a glass and uh, the interlayer, air is the medium where we are making a sandwich. So, the, um, the uh, way in which you can have an addition in between the glass and the interlayer is uh, by removing the air. So, uh, in the nip rolls, you have uh, three uh, sets of uh, ovens and two sets of pressing. So, what we are trying to do is we are trying to heat the interlayer and we are trying to uh, using nip rolls we are trying to squeeze the air out thereby achieving a very good edge seal and uh, uh, majority of the air is removed. Then it is unloaded and kept over a cart, that cart goes inside an uh, autoclave uh, which is subjected to a process of 5 hours wherein you have heating you have holding and you have uh, cooling and uh, pressure release. These are the four processes which goes inside the autoclave. 
And in autoclave, what we are trying to ensure is that we are trying to uh, uh, increase the addition and uh, we are also uh, making sure that the glass comes out transparent. So again you can see uh, we have uh, the, this is the ideal uh, picture of a lamination line. You have loading, you have uh, washing and drying where you are trying to prepare the surface. You have clean room where the uh, interlayer is stored and where the, uh, uh, the assembly of the sandwich happens. Then you have the heating zone or let us say where you have, uh, you are trying to remove the uh, air or which is also called as de-airing process. You are also trying to create some addition of glass with the PVB and you achieve an edge seal which basically you call as uh, transparency in the edges of let us say 10 millimeter. And you have partial of residual air which is there in the center of the sweet portion of the glass which when subjected to an autoclave process of 5 hours it, it vanishes and you see a transparent glass with very high addition which is referred to as safety or security laminated glass. Coming to uh, the uh, process now, um, we have uh, the glass surface preparation basically uh, as we mentioned uh, before after loading, the first step that we do is we prepare the glass surface for uh, the process of lamination. So what we do is we have uh, three sets of uh, bristle or brushes at both top and bottom and you have uh, tanks at the bottom of the washing machine which are pump, which are filled with water and uh, which are the water is pumped through nozzle and uh, water is uh, being in contact of the glasses and the brushes are also rotating and trying to clean the glass surface. So what happens is, uh, it is important to check if the glass panes are not broken, uh, incredibly dirty or scratched before entering the washing machine. So we, before entering itself, we are trying to ensure that glass is uh, uh, prepared or glass is okay, which, uh, which can be processed, which can be sent to the processing. Now the washing machine has uh, to be adjusted, nozzles, uh, the rotation direction of the brushes, the speed and water. These are the parameters which we normally play with uh, in the washing machine to ensure that the, uh, the uh, effectiveness of the washing is good. So we have the nozzle, we have the uh, cleanliness of the nozzle. Nozzles are sometimes subjected to blockages. We have to ensure that all the blockages are removed and you have a good flow of water coming through the nozzle so that uh, the, uh, the uh, entire portion of the glass uh, comes in, I mean the water uh, is spread uh, over the portion of the glass and you have a very good uh, washing. The brushes rotation again th those are very significant uh, when it uh, talk about the effectiveness of uh, washing. The speed of the line, uh, it, 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 it is a very important factor uh, that if the speed is very high you might uh, find that uh, after washing there are uh, uh, spots of water or which are not dried or uh, which are, I mean, there are portion, there can also be portion of glass which are not clean. And the water parameters, what we meant, may, uh, I mean, trying to convey uh, through water parameters, uh, basically there are two parameters which we are talking about. One is the temperature of the water and second is the conductivity of the water. So, you have three sets of tanks at the bottom of the washing machine. You have tank 1 which is at the entry and then tank 2 and tank 3. Uh, the idea of uh, heating is just to ensure that the effectiveness of washing is good. So uh, what we do is we try uh, normally keep the tank 1, uh, uh, we heat the tank 1 to a temperature of 40 plus or minus 5 degrees. So it is basically in the range of 35 to 45 degrees. What, why we heat it uh, is one is basically uh, for the effectiveness. Second, the temperature range that is defined is uh, to ensure that the glass when it goes inside an assembly room, it is not at a temperature greater than 30 degrees. That is very important factor when you are laminating. That is why the temperature, the heating is done at tank 1. Now at tank 3, uh, we uh, give uh, demineralized water which is used for cleaning again and uh, those are uh, uh, at a conductivity of less than 20 micro siemens. That is a very important factor. Now the washing machine per se has to be uh, regularly cleaned and going ahead, uh, it is important to check if the surface of glass pane is clean to, uh, clean to guarantee addition of PVB foil. So if the surface is not clean and you have an interlayer PVB which is coming in contact of the surface and you are subjected to further processes, over a period of time you can find that uh, uh, there might be a little bit of delamination if there is an impurity. That is because that will come in between the glass and the interlayer and that will create problems. Now due to condensation, salt particles can settle on the surface of the glass pane. This process can evoke problems with addition and subsequent delamination. 
So, uh, the importance of deionized water, uh, it again uh, uh, any, any, any salt particle which is there on the, uh, from the water which is coming in contact of the glass and later uh, when it comes in contact of the interlayer can again create problems. So, that is why the, uh, we are supposed to use deionized or demineral water in the uh, tanks of uh, a washing machine. Going ahead, uh, we have a washing zone as we discussed, the temperature is uh, maintained at a range of 40 plus or minus 5. The conductivity uh, is uh, has to be less than 20 micro siemens per centimeter. Uh, glass surface preparation, it is it is important to check uh, uh, if the surface of the glass is clean uh, before you uh, uh, prepare the glass for assembly and further process. If the glass surface is not clean, it can result uh, 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 as a, in a delamination of the glass in the subsequent stages. Now again, uh, uh, due to condensation, uh, if you have a water which is uh, of a very high conductivity and the total dissolved solids are there, the salt, salt particles from the water can come in contact of the glass surface and when it is subjected to uh, uh, lamination, it might cause a reaction uh, and uh, cause trouble in addition with the PV and further it can lead to delamination over a period of time. That is that's, that's how, I mean, uh, that is why the uh, deionized or demineral water are very important and the conductivity has to be less than 20 micro siemens. Uh, going ahead, uh, as we mentioned, well, the water temperature at tank 1 is kept at 40 plus or minus 5. Uh, that is just to ensure that the washing is effective and again, the temperature zone is uh, defined in such a way that when the glass enters the assembly, it is the glass temperature is not greater than 30 degrees. Now, the conductivity of the tank uh, 3, uh, the water is at uh, less than 20 micro siemens per centimeter. As we discussed, the conductivity also plays a very important factor for addition. We will have a look at the influence of washing, uh, I mean water conductivity on glass addition. So, if you have a conductivity which is of higher range, let us say uh, a 300 micro siemens or something, you can see that the, uh, the curvature of addition with respect to conductivity is of uh, improportionate nature. If you have higher conductivity, the addition will be lower. If you have a lower conductivity, addition will be higher. Uh, the influence of alkaline earth ions on glass addition, as you can see you have uh, uh, sodium uh, chloride, uh, potassium chloride, magnesium chloride and calcium chloride. These alkaline uh, ions when you have it on the water and when it comes to the uh, uh, contact of glass and subsequently when the PVB comes into contact of those, uh, the presence of theirs uh, reduces the addition uh, and the presence, I mean that is how you have uh, the blue, orange, green and yellow line are defining. Higher the, higher the presence of these ions, the addition will be on a lower side. Now coming to the bristle of uh, the uh, washing, uh, the bristles uh, can be uh, used, I mean uh, the length of the bristles can be uh, greater than 20 millimeter and diameter are generally 24 mm for a low E glass. If the bristles are too short or if they have different lengths, the surface of glass pane can be damaged. I mean the idea is basically to ensure that 1 mm of the bristle comes in contact of the glass and if you have a very, very high level of uh, bristle length which is coming in contact, it can lead to scratches and if you, if the bristles are not in coming in contact of uh, glass, cleaning can also be, uh, it, the effectiveness of the cleaning can also get affected. Coming to the drying, uh, once you uh, wash the glass with water and bristle, uh, it is also important to dry the glass surface because when you laminate a glass, the surface has to be dried. So, the glass pane can be dried with powerful filtered hot stream and a nozzle working at a regular angle. So, you have two sets of uh, no, uh, air knife which we call uh, through which uh, we blow the hot air and we try to uh, dry the glass surface and those are at top and bottom um, in pairs. So, one is at uh, uh, perpendicular to the glass flow and second one is kept at a particular angle. So, it is kept in such a way that water drops uh, gathered at one edge of the glass pane can be wiped away easily. The glass temperature has to be checked during the drying process. If the temperature is too high, water uh, condensates faster, the salt particles can deposit on the surface of glass pane. Problems can appear during the drying process, blocked nozzles, oil in the compressed air and leftover water. These are the three uh, points which we need to ensure when we are washing the glass and preparing the glass for lamination and these has to be ensured at a regular intervals. The transportation wheels uh, have to be uh, really clean, otherwise the glass panes can get dirty. Uh, what we mean by transportation wheels are basically the rollers which are conveying the glass from washing or the loading to washing to the assembly room, those are to be clean.
because glass are, are, are basically traveling over them and they are coming in contact of the rollers. So, if the rollers are not clean, the glass surface after washing will also be not clean. Problems can appear during drying process, blocked nozzles, oil in compressed air and leftover water. The transportation wheels have to be really clean, otherwise the glass panes can get dirty. What we uh, are trying to convey by transportation wheels are basically the rollers. The rollers are conveying the glass from loading to uh, through washing to the assembly room and the glasses are traveling in contact of the rollers. So, if the roller surface is dirty, uh, that dirtiness will be uh, transferred to the glass surface and again uh, in future uh, during the lamination also post lamination you will have issues of addition with respect to lamination. Now coming to uh, maintenance, uh, the washing machine uh, cleans the glass panes but not itself. So, you have to remember that uh, washing machine though it can clean a glass surface but it cannot clean itself, you will have to uh, ensure that the washing machine is clean. So, we will have to engage in cleaning of the washing machine. Thus, the washing machine has to be regularly cleaned.